Hey YouTube, Trim 1106 coming right back at you. This is another Tread Trended Topic. This segment is going to be about multiple celebrities. So I'm going to try to make it quick. Bear with me. Here we go. Look forward to new CDs coming out in 2012 from your favorite artists. Alicia Keys, Usher, Janet Jackson, Keyless, Sean Kingston, Pink, Nicki Minaj, and Little Kim. Speaking of Little Kim, she heard my cry when I said, "Come on, Little Kim, come on back, Little Kim, come on back." Oh, she heard me because she is coming back. And what's going on now? She's working on a new project with Fifty Cent. Now, how great is that? It's really great. Although, you know, Fifty needs to stuff his game up some, but Fifty got money though, so that's all good. She's coming out. She has this hot and sexy promo pic. You have to see it. Just Google Little Kim promo pic 2011. She tweeted it on Christmas Day. She's in a full black um, leotard. And it's long sleeve with these fur, big thick fur balls on it. You know, I don't know. Dark black shades, all black leotard medium blonde hair she looks so sexy although you can't really see her face clearly because like she's covered up and although nothing is showing but her legs thighs buttocks with some buttocks you know um she looks hot but i i do gotta say now it do it is airbrush now all her pictures are airbrushed just like a lot of artists but <laughs> the only question is where are her knees? Chris Brown. Everyone is in this big old uproar about these new Concord Air Jordans. Now don't get me wrong, these Air Jordans were the thing back in the day. Well, I don't really know so much about that. But, <laughs> but they were the thing and they come back, they're retro. Years old, people stabbing and killing and fussing and arguing all over these. And Chris Brown's up in Hollywood sporting his kicks uh, with his vintage jeans, just chilling. All of this uproar about these shoes, they're old. They're old. You can find them under your uncle's closet in the basement somewhere. A new project alert. The Game, The Game, The Sitcom is coming on BET. It's going to premiere in January. And guess who's going to add their new flavor in there? I want to be down. Brandy. Brandy. I'm so excited. I love The Game. You know, it's less comedy and more drama. And I think Brandy will add a great piece of flavor to it. So Brandy, we're looking forward to seeing you with the rest of the cast. It looks like a great mix. We're looking forward to you, Brandy. Good luck. R. Kelly. R. Kelly is one of my greatest songwriters. I mean, man, if it was possible, I probably would have gotten pregnant like a million times. Touch and go on his projects. And the last one didn't wasn't so you know, successful. The last big thing he did, responsible for Trapped in the Closet, as we know it, chapters 1 through 22. He brought it to a movie. It didn't go to the big screen, but it did come on DVD. I had it. I loved it. Every word, every action, on point. The art and an artist and a producer and songwriter, he nails it. He nails it. And that I do respect. Not only is he a good songwriter, producer, screenplay artist, he was responsible for the two main actors in there getting married. So congratulations, R. Kelly. Not only are people men having babies to your song, they're getting married too. Okay, R. Kelly, you put that together, you know. Get your stuff together, okay? Also, R. Kelly, he's bringing out 32 more chapters. And he wants to make it to this big saga, you know. But he's missing a little, you know, coins. Now, 
So I guess he got the legal problems going on and his money is kind of funny. But you know, they say their money is funny, but they might have to go down 32 million a year to 22 million a year. And they think that's broke, you know, but we, we know what broke is. You know, these last two dollars. So anyway, he's um, looking for funding for the 32 chapters to come out. So I'm looking forward to it. Next, Beyonce. Now, you know, everybody got to talk about Beyonce. Beyonce pregnant or, mm, and you're doing too much. Beyonce, you're pregnant, but you're not acting like you're pregnant. All those rumors are out about a baby bump, a baby Beyonce. It's rumored that she is was in labor yesterday or a couple days ago. This is today is December 31st. So it was rumored she was in labor yesterday and that she's going to have a baby, a girl, and name her Tiana May. Tiana May, that sounds so country. I don't believe it. So I'll let that go. But what I am amazed of, for her to be a pregnant woman, she is working so hard. The dream actually let out that he is producing her fifth studio album. Now remind you, her fourth studio album just came out this year. You're working the fifth month? She was promoting that, did videos for everything, all while she was pregnant. She hasn't stopped. She's been um, doing performances and um, promoting the pregnancy as well as her album. She hasn't stopped. Beyond, even The Dream said she's a maniac. <laughs> now he did see it with all the affection in the world. And every time I'm reading about things, it's like, this doesn't sound like a pregnant woman. She's flying on the plane from country to country. She's just doing that the last couple weeks. Doesn't sound like a pregnant woman. She was leaving curves, the um, the gym that they work out in. Not that pregnant women don't work out, but it's like, you do any day and you were just leaving curves last week? I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I'm rooting for, I'm rooting for Beyonce. I'm rooting that she is going to deliver this baby out of her birth canal. Say, sit down. Okay. Sit down. You, you were supposed to be pregnant, took your break. Maybe did a few uh, appearances and said, damn, okay? You are an icon. You can leave for two, three years and come back and still have your spot because that is what you have created throughout these um, 10 years you've been in the industry. You are beautiful. You are the hardest working woman in the game right now. So if you sit down, we're going to miss you. Trust, we are going to miss you. I mean, you have aspiring artists that's out there that's trying to be like you because you are such an icon. You have artists that's out here right now that's trying to be like you. See, Ella. I ain't saying. Last but not least, the TV special called Unsung. Well, they're premiering a new um, season this year and they're going to have some people on there and... Um, I think I'm interested in these people. Bobby Womack, Atlanta Star, Freddie Jackson, Ray Parker Jr., David Ruffin, Sheila E., and Millie Jackson. Um, not necessarily am I just like over enthused on these people on this um, new season, but I love to hear the rise and rise, you know, or the rise and mid fall or the rise and retire. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like with these people. Another episode of What's Going On With Celebrities? Hmm. I may be on or something. But it is my tread trending topic. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Tread me 11 is coming right back at you. Please look forward to my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy New Year to you.